job interview and then I don't know what else we'll get into but I'm guessing we're gonna go eat so I'm gonna show you where we go eat what I get when I go out to eat and yeah just kind of hang out with you guys as usual I did want to show you my outfit today this is a bodysuit from pink lily it just sent me and these jeans are from all saint they're raw hem skinny jean and I've got my Tory Burch shoes on Esper drills. I had my headband on this morning to do my makeup and then I decided, you know, I kind of like, I kind of like it. So I kept the headband in. You guys think you like it? I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. So I have an iced coffee. It's a double espresso with a little bit of heavy cream in there. And then I've also taken my supplements and I will link my supplements in the description below. These are the three that I'm taking right now now they are new they're supposed to be a really good brand this is mm, i think i'm a week into using them so it hasn't been long but they're supposed to be really high quality i get asked about supplements all the time if i didn't have hashimoto's i don't know that i would supplement anything except for the vitamin d3 which i forgot to take this morning so i've got to go, i gotta go take that uh, i do take vitamin d3 always and I would no matter what. In the summer, I think it's not as important because I am getting out in the sunshine and I'm getting the natural vitamin D3, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything since I am at risk for osteoporosis. So vitamin D3, very important. Other than that, really the iodine, I supplement with it. Although I've cut back, I was doing three drops. Now I'm only doing one drop every other day uh, because I don't think I need as much anymore as I was taking. So I have decreased that a little bit. I did recently have a Hashimoto's flare up. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, cause it's happening over there. I go live a lot. Um, then you already knew about my flare up and I've had upper respiratory issues. Alrighty. Anyways, I'm feeling much better. Thank goodness. So, it was a long week last week. All right, so I'm fixing to get ready to walk out this door, go pick up Abby Grace, and then uh, we'll see. Oh, oh, also, I'm going to the chiropractor. So I'm going to the chiropractor, and then we're going to go. We might go to Target. We might go to Hobby Lobby. You know, I just don't know what we're going to get into, but I just thought I'd take you along. Me and Abby just went to, what is it called? 1822 Coffee. And I got something I've never tried before. So sugar-free matcha. This is what it looks like. With heavy whipping cream. With heavy whipping cream. I don't know. We're going to try it. That's really good. It tastes kind of like, you know how homemade ice cream tastes? Holy crap. That's what it tastes like. That's really, that's why that dude calls it milk. Cause it literally tastes like the milk of ice after ice cream or like cereal. Oh my. Well, that's really good. That's re that is really, really good. I might have a new favorite drink. Okay. I'd have to put cinnamon in it. It'd be really good. Next time I'll do cinnamon. Yeah. I got a sugar-free yeah. iced caramel latte with heavy whipping cream. Is that good? Yeah. She put a little too much caramel in it though. Just, yeah. Yeah. It's a, a little she heavy. She put three. She should have put two. Mm. It's not bad though. No. It is not. 
Okay, now we're gonna go to Jackson. I'm dreading it. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I've not been to Jackson in and they've changed it. Years. Play for us. <laughs> Play. By the time you see this, the damage will already be done. So. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I got from Ulta. The first thing, I got a new lipstick from MAC. It's technically, it's not a new lipstick. It's one that I had years ago and I could not find this color. They were always sold out of it. It's called Velvet Teddy. And I love this color. It's just, I don't know. It's, I feel like it looks perfect on my skin tone. And then I got Abby some Tula cleanser. Okay, guys, most of you know that I use the, what's it called, Beauty Bio Micro Needling Derma Roller thing, and it vibrates, and it has a red LED light, and it's really good for your skin, and I've used it for years. It's very expensive. It is in the Nordstrom sale this year, but it's still pricey. I got this one at Ulta today, and it's by Skin Gym, which is a good brand, and it's basically the same thing, except for it doesn't have the LED light, and it doesn't vibrate, but it's the same size micro needles. So it has like tiny little needles on it, just little itty bitty needles, and you roll it on your face. I'll do a demo for you guys on Instagram if you want me to. Anyways, you roll it like this all over your face, and it just, it's so good for your skin. $25 at Ulta. That's a steal. I'm very excited to have found this because the other one is expensive to get the kit and it's not super, it's $25 to just replace the head. So once you get that one, it's not expensive to keep it up. But if you just want to try the Derma Roller and you've never tried it before and you just want to see how it works, you have to use it for it to work, okay? I use it once a week. And then I got the lip one too. So there's one, that one's for the face and this one's for the lip. I'm pretty sure they were both $25. Lip one was $20. That was exciting. And then I got one of these because I keep seeing people talk about it. And you know, at this point, I'm just willing to do whatever for my skin. And it's just one of these skin gym tools that you put in the refrigerator. This is rose quartz and it says, start with a clean face prep with serum and gently massage your face and it tells you how to massage your face it doesn't say you have to put this one in the refrigerator but a lot of people do put them in the refrigerator to get them nice and cold anyways i got one of these and i'll tell you how i like it so these towel scrunchies because my hair holds so much water when i get out of the shower i literally just leave a trail of water so i got one of these i'm gonna see how it works I needed a new mascara, so I got a different mascara. This is the Big Ego from Tarte. We'll see how I like it. So that's what I got from Ulta. We went and ate sushi. I haven't had sushi in a, I don't even know how long, for since I was pregnant. So I had sashimi, not sushi technically, which is just the fish. So I had yellowfin tuna, albacore tuna, um, crab, and a tuna poke which is just tuna with some like fish roe on top of it and it's chopped up and it's got some seasonings in it and it was wrapped so pretty and avocado it was delicious i quite enjoyed that ken berry is gonna be super jealous he loves sashimi anyways it was nice to be able to have some seafood for the first time in a long time that was 
fresh and delicious. I love it. If you don't like raw fish, then you're not gonna like sashimi because that's exactly what it is. It's just raw fish. I love it, I enjoy it. Now, I guess you could consider it a little dirty because I did eat soy sauce. I just had a little bit and I just dipped my fish in there. Uh, so when you go out to eat, you kinda, it's always gonna be a little dirty depending on what you order. I mean, most people cook in seed oils. They don't cook in butter. Uh, at least this wasn't even, I know it wasn't cooked in anything bad because it wasn't cooked. And so the worst thing that I had today was a little bit of soy sauce. I'm okay with that. Abby's making a TikTok. There's a surprise in it. <laughs> words would you describe yourself like how would dad describe you salty no big mouth no not like not <laughs> bad thing. oh um like, okay how would you describe like a stepmom you're just ready to like what's a good what's a good thing dad would like what would he call you uh, spunky yeah yeah spunky that's how dad first described you to us. He'd be like, you guys are really gonna like her. She's really fun and young. She'll play with you guys. That's what he told us. And you did. You well, did. I did, but that's like a weird way I guess. I guess he meant I wasn't gonna not want to spend time with you guys. That was his way of saying that. Why is it so hard? That's such a better angle. Why wasn't I doing that? Tell yeah, we should taste our coffee like this. I know. Sweetie, you ready to get some new notebooks and track protractors and slacks? I want blue jeans. You're getting slacks. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Ready to get some Abby just went in for her second interview. We've been killing time making TikToks. Look, I'm literal tears rolling down my face. And I'll, I'll, because we were making Snapchats too and we found this filter. I will show it to you and then you'll know why I have tears ro rolling down my face. Yeah, we've laughed and we cried as we have sitting here. We've been sitting here for about 30 minutes just messing around, hanging out. Anyways, it's fixing a storm. Hopefully it'll hold off for until we get home, but probably not. Finally home. I've changed into comfy clothes. This is actually a shirt that one of my subscribers, Holly, sent me when Kansas City was in the Super Bowl two years ago. And I cut it, I cropped it and cut the neck out of it because that's what I do to everything. And these are Ugg sweatpants. Super comfy. What ball? You have a hundred balls. Look at all of your balls. Pick one. Yeah. Oh! Look, you fell down, yeah. He's crazy. Beckett, what did you have? What did you eat today? A cheeseburger. Was it with Lovey? Uh -huh. Was it good? Good cheeseburger. Did you eat all of it? Uh -huh. You did. So we just got done watching Black Widow. We bought it on Disney Plus so we could watch it in the comfort of our home, and it was good. It probably would have been better, you know, if Beckett wasn't screaming every five minutes. But you know, it was good, and it's not like I'm not gonna watch it five more times or, or well five <laughs> 500 more times because that's just how big of a Marvel fan I am okay so now I'm going to make tuna fish salad <laughs> which means I've literally only had seafood all day today but that's okay it's okay I didn't plan this it's just what I'm having so I've got two cans of yellowfin tuna. I'm gonna put in a bowl. I'll show you, hang on. Ken is reading Beckett a book right now. So that's where they are. That's why it's so quiet. This is how much it is in the bowl. 
yellowfin tuna. Looks good. This is 10 ounces of tuna. And then I'm going to add Primal Kitchen garlic aioli. I really like this. It's got a good flavor to it. I'm going to bring you down so you can see what I'm doing because I have a few of you say, I want to know what you're doing. And here's the thing. You know, I'm just chopping up eggs and pickles here, but I was only chopping up eggs and onion last time. So, <laughs> apparently you guys like to see me chop up stuff. All right. These are the pickles I use. Bubby's Pickles. All right. Or, oh, this is a good size pickle. So, one good size pickle. Okay. Pickles. All right, so I'm also gonna put a pickled boiled egg in here. And then a few spoonfuls of aioli. And then some organic garlic pepper from Redmond's. And last but not least, some homemade pesto made from basil or basil, if you're fancy, out of our garden. So I'm gonna put a few spoonfuls of this in there. Let me work this off. So that's what we're working with. And then I'm just gonna, and then I'm gonna mix it all together. Probably could have used a bigger bowl. Okay. You want a pickle? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. And can't forget onion, very important, in this house anyways. Hmm? All right, and this is what it's gonna look like in the end. It's green because of the pesto. But it's very tasty. Adding a little pesto mm -hmm. totally kills the tuna taste. Dr. Berry wants me to let you know that adding pesto to tuna helps like take the tuna taste away. Also, I used yellowfin tuna, which is a little bit less fishy tasting than just your traditional chicken of the sea tuna fish. This is really, really good. Super simple as usual. And you better, you better save me some. And it's gonna be gone. I say it's up. Very soon. You want a bite? Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm trying not to. Here, well, let's wrap you up. So we don't moon everybody. <laughs> We're potty training Beckett, and part of the process is that he just stays naked all the time. He's doing really well with it. Do you want a bite of this? What do you want? A pickle. A pickle? Mm -hmm. Want me to cut it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cut up. That's, that's good enough. You can eat it like that. That's how you've been eating them all day. You eat it. What do you want? That's right. Let me eat up. Yeah. Can you tell everybody thank you for watching? <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumb on your way out, and we'll see you in the next video. Love you. Mean it. <laughs> Good job. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.